Hi, my name is Aaron Wilkes and I'm one of the designers of the TigerCat 850 processor. Today we're going to do a walk around and show you some of the key features of the machine, the service access, where we have benefits over our competition. And maybe I'll just start by talking a little bit about where this machine came from. This is the first time that TigerCat has designed a roadside processor from the ground up. All the designers involved in the project were located under one roof. Engineers from the attachment group worked closely with the machine designers. The team focused on building a machine for the purpose of roadside processing. When fitted with a 568 harvesting head, the 850 provides a full front-to-back TigerCat roadside processing solution. Okay, we're going to start here at the front of the machine. So I'm going to talk about two guards. So we have one at the front right corner. It also has two work lights. So you see this light is pointed out the side to give you good visibility out that side of the machine. And then the top one is pointed straight ahead to give visibility in front of this track and also um, to the attachment. And then this guard is uh, to, just to protect the base of the hoist cylinders from any objects such as a log swinging in. Talk about a few key features on the boom system. So the stick cylinder here is uh, undermounted. And you'll notice that on a lot of our competitors' machines, they use excavator base booms and it's mounted above, which greatly reduces your lifting capacity. And then we've got two hoist cylinders. And also at the base end of this boom, you'll notice there's quite a large pronounced hook, which uh, you won't see on, on any of our other uh, swing boom machines. The idea behind that is to have the uh, excellent operator visibility out that right side. So when they're picking from the pile, the boom is not in their field of vision. So this is our F6152 undercarriage. So the F stands for flat, which means it has a very slight ramp here as opposed to the R undercarriages, which have a very steep ramp. Um, 6152, the six is the series of undercarriage, which is mainly for uh, processing application, a roadside application. And then the 152 is the length between the idler and the sprocket. Um, so there's a few there's a few options on this uh, undercarriage. We can have either slides on top or rollers. And if, there's a variety of uh, pad options. So singles, doubles, triples, tri-tracks, multiple widths. And one more thing I'll highlight is the, uh, the ground clearance underneath. We have ample ground clearance when you get off the roads and into rougher terrain. So at the front of the undercarriage here, we have a toolbox uh, integrated into the frame. And it's a great spot to store tools, uh, bars, chains, chain oil, things related to the attachment. Uh, it's just a convenient spot um, close, close by to the attachment. Okay, so we're gonna climb up the side of the machine here. So if I uh, open this latch here on the step, so you can see this tread material here, this is a step to get up, but uh, this compartment here also doubles as a toolbox. So it's quite long, it's a great spot for shovels, axes, firefighting equipment, things like that. So then I'll open the, uh, the left-hand side door here, which is important because it has the handles that allow us three points of contact on the way up. Okay, so I'll just climb up here and I'll open up the side platform with this latch right here and set it down and climb back up. So we're up here on the service platform. So you can see it's a nice safe place. We've got grading to uh, prevent us from slipping. And we're not standing on the undercarriage, which may be covered in ice or mud. And we're not standing on a very narrow ledge welded to the frame, like a lot of our competitors have. So it's a great spot to do all the hydraulic service. And that was one of the key design goals of the 850, was to have all the hydraulic components very easy and accessible for service. So you'll notice the main valve is actually on the outside of the machine on, uh, and not right in the center, like a lot of our competitors, where it's very difficult to access. So we've got our hydraulic tank back here and very close to the pumps, short suction lines. And our, all of our hydraulic filters are right here. That's a key service item. And then you'll notice here we've got a um, hydraulic fill pump. It's electrically operated. So you'll take the hose out of the holder, put it into a pail of oil. There's a convenient spot here to keep a pail of oil for top ups. And then we've got this switch right here. You activate the switch and it sucks up the oil through the filters into the tank. And we don't have any issues with adding oil, contaminating the system. So at the back of the hydraulic compartment, right by the pumps, we have a spray shield. And the purpose of that is to prevent hot hydraulic oil from spraying onto the hot engine components and uh, reducing the risk of a fire. Moving around to the back of the machine, we've got this cast counterweight. It's 9,500 pounds, 
or 3400 kilograms, and it's solid cast iron. The A50 is the only processor on the market to have a rear door allowing full access to both sides of the engine. So the cover on this battery tray actually doubles as a place to sit and you can actually climb inside and complete your service work. So we're on here on the right side of the machine. I'll show you the cooler package behind this heavy door. Just put in the prop rod to keep the door open. So we've got our four coolers side by side, very easy for cleaning. And as with all Tiger Cat machines, they're generously sized to keep the machine nice and cool, even in the hottest conditions. So at the front corner of the machine here, we have the step to get up and an integrated toolbox. And it's all kind of built into this assembly here with the front guard. Just open up this box. So you can see it's a generously sized box for all types of tool supplies you may need when out in the woods. One of the key design goals of the 850 was making service a priority. This led us to develop these opening panels, which allow unmatched access to the front side of the engine and to all your daily service points. Fuel fill is located right here at the right side of the machine, very close access to the outside for easy filling. This is an optional tank if the machine is equipped with a coolant heater to warm up the machine. And uh, it's equipped with a separate tank in case you want to run a different mixture than your normal diesel fuel. And right beside that is your diesel exhaust fluid fill. So we've tried to group all the fluids close to the outside of the machine for easy access. Down here, this panel is to access the cooler shroud. So if we just take that off, we have access to clean out in behind the coolers if any debris happens to accumulate in there. Moving along, we've got fuel filters. So we've got one mounted up here and then one mounted down on the engine. Also up here, our air filter, so the primary filter, and we've got our free cleaner right here. And down here, we've got access to our oil dipstick, that's an important one, and our oil fill, conveniently located together. And then our crankcase ventilation filter is right here, which needs to be serviced at regular intervals. From this position, we have excellent access to the top of the engine and the side of the engine for any major service that might be required. This panel also features a spray shield, which when the cover is in the down position, protects spray from the hydraulic lines behind the boom, getting onto the hot components of the engine. Got access to the main electrical panel here, just to remove these bolts to take the cover off. It's important that this cover is put back in place because this profile here actually acts as a backstop for the spray shield cover I mentioned earlier. So it's important that this cover is always put securely in place. This main engine roof opens with the assistance of two spring cylinders, one located on each side. And we've got a prop rod here to maintain it securely in place when you're in, inside the machine servicing. Unlike competitive models, the A50 has a front access door to the cab. And we made it nice and easy to get in with steps on the undercarriage and a step on the cab riser. The cab door has been revamped on the 850. Went away from the double latches to a single for simplicity. And we've added an assist cylinder to help closing the door. So as you can see, sitting here in the cab, we've got excellent visibility all, all around. Big windows, front, the sides. So right here is our MD4 display, which displays all our machine parameters. So we've got engine speed, hydraulic oil temperature, coolant temperature, and fuel level, def level. Up in the top right corner, we've got the display for the backup camera. And then we've got a few switches above here. This is a service light. So that activates the service light in the valve area and also the one in the engine area. And there's a indicator here to let you know if, if you've left it on because this, this stays on even if the master disconnect is off. 850s have the option of a coolant heater. And if the machine is equipped with one, you'll find the display and uh, controller in this location. Some of the primary controls are located right behind the joystick. So this would be the horn, engine speed, and your track speed high and low. The air ride seat has heating and ventilation built in. It comes with many adjustments that can be done to suit any operator. So we've got three exit points. There's the front door, there's this side door, and then we've got the emergency hatch in the top. Today we talked about some of the key features on the 850 platform. If you're interested to know more, contact your Tiger Cat dealer.